Welcome to the channel guys. It's been a few days since I put out a video, probably four or five, and feeling better today. Still sore where the ribs were. It didn't help yesterday that I was trying to install something in the cab of my truck, nothing hard, but it's kind of parked on an incline like that, and the driver's door came and smacked me right on that exact same spot, but I'm no worse for wear. Right now I'm trying to get this room uh, cleared out a little bit get some of this stuff in the shed that needs to go get rid of that tote Well, actually I'm gonna use that tote, but I want to get this cleared off move this table over here still got a sweep uh, Just for now because I'm gonna start keeping the dog food out here I'm probably gonna set the bag on or put it in that tote and put it right there uh, But I kind of want to have it raised up for the next few days, so I'll set it on top of that tote that way it's not cluttering up the house it's fine out here and here pretty soon i'm going to go get the plywood to do this get these closed in and that way i can utilize this room better i took this little uh uh little love seat little two two person chair i moved it in the house and uh i never sit out here but i'm going to move this table over here for now so i can utilize this wall that's where the electric is uh, right now all I'm running is their heated dog bowl. I knew you weren't far. I'll get this fountain out of here. Yeah. She just Millie's off. She goes off for two days at a time, comes back for two days, rest up. Then she goes off for two days, and last time she came home with a with another dog. So she's out there running with some of them. That's what they do this time of year when the deer are running. So I'm gonna get to this and all right I haven't been out here since I hurt my ribs so tomorrow I'm coming out here we're gonna get this laser machine set up we're gonna do some laser doings that's right and I don't really want to bring any more stuff in here until this insulation's done uh, I got a few <laughs> I went and bought ordered one of those arrow t50 air gun air staplers Ugh and then i walk in the shed and i already had one so that's why it's important to have a tidy little shed area and tool area so you don't have to buy two of them but hey man it's tools uh telly don't go near that door if the wind catches it it's gonna hit smack you in the bootay it's gonna smack you in the bootay and a wonderful subscriber sent me this little stool i assume to get in out of my truck when i'm injured and it just wasn't quite high enough for this so i got my other two-step stool and i got to build a ramp for this it's not going to be stairs it's going to be a ramp and uh but that's cool and that will go in the truck because that does come in handy thought it would be high enough to get in here but it is but uh it's a little bit higher than that so i'm going to organize this stuff a little in here but it's just going to have to be juggled around. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. And yeah, I can tell the difference with this insulation in here. All right, guys. Uh, it's pretty much done other than getting the small pieces. And I've had a few people reach out to me, ask if they wanted to come, you know, finish this for me. And it's just not that pressing of a matter. It's something... You know i can do myself i just gotta you know a couple weeks to heal up i'm good and get right back to it but it's it's just nothing pressing right now in fact the way it is now if i even wanted to hang up some pegboards or, or whatever for now i could do that that's not important this this is something that isn't needs to be done tomorrow but i do appreciate the offers but you know me i'm stubborn i want to do everything myself so we'll get it done all right and that's something else i gotta review that's pretty cool though you're gonna like that all right something like that and i still gotta clear that table off but i'm gonna set my dog food on top of here and i got some i can I, i'm not to the point where i want to bend over to get into that bin what i need to do is find a little table or something to set that on for now but it, for now i'm just gonna bring the bag in there's no rain it doesn't rain in here anyway but it'll be fine so yeah i obviously cannot lift the what do you want you gonna help me get my gorilla cart ah, i've got water in it 
Mm. Okay. Mm. Bring the cart over. These things are so handy. I brought a bunch of groceries in the other day. You just got to make sure you put them where they don't roll away. Oh, oh Melly. Or, uh, Hilly. Oh. I switched their dog food up. I usually do this in the winter. I get on the diamond maintenance. I know. I'm going to get 50 comments. Dogs are dying on that brand. Well, mine have been eating it for 10 years, and they never have. All right. And I noticed there was a story about dogs getting this mystery illness. But you know what? My dogs live rural. They don't come into contact with other dogs. So I don't worry about it too much. We all have the... Even humans have that risk. As we well seen a few years ago. Alright, I got this coming in. Oh. Pulling it. Ain't hard in these things. Alright. And I'm just going to set it up here. Alright. And when you change. When you change their food. This is the same brand. But it's a different, different variety. I always get a little of their old stuff. And I mix it in. Get them used to it. But they like this kind. Uh, Rooster don't like it. But she's got. She likes this. Peri uh. What did I get her like? Pedigree. She found out one dry food she likes. Right, let me shut the door. And they got some more of that left. All right, let me set you guys down. Can you see? All right. Let's get this dude over here. There. What are you going crazy about in here? Huh? What? What? Somebody, somebody asked if there's a light in here. Yep. If you'd watched my videos about a year ago, you would have seen me put that in. You are full of everything. You're barking, we're running around. Yeah, you've been stealing her blanket. He'll take her blanket, mix it in there with his. So he has a bigger, fluffier blanket. You know you do. You're up to no good. You're always up to no good. You guys want your TV on? Let's turn your TV and your heater don't need to be on. Let's turn your heat. Get out of my way. I had to be very careful around him a few days ago because he's pretty chunky. I'm turning it on. And we gotta unplug your radio. That's what he's complaining about. He don't have his TV on. Okay. It ain't coming on. There you go. I don't know what to do with you sometimes. He ain't no he ain't no different than he was when he was a year old. He's got just as much energy, doesn't he, Lily? All right, let's pick you a station. Why is it coming on again? Dogs, man. All right. Go to live TV. I know what channel you like. The Pet Collective. Here we go. Let's see. I guarantee it's kitties. They've been having parrots and everything so far. Oh, cheesing for the puppy dogs. What are they up to? He's in the bathtub. You don't know nothing about that. You don't know nothing about that. Because you never had a bath, ever. Have you? Uh, but he loves his daddy. All right, I got to get back to work. Are you going to be satisfied? We're going to eat in a couple hours. I got new kinds. New kinds for you to eat. All right, I found the missing piece I was looking for for the well. What this does, you plug it in.
to the well outlet the electrical outlet in the well and it has an outlet here and you plug the light into that and then i got this remote control i can just aim it at the well turn it on and off when i want because that lid is not fun getting on and off so we're gonna go over here put that in yeah the leaves are about all gone there's still some up there at the top of the mountain up there oh i gotta lift that big rock i don't know i think i, I got an idea what i can do for now since i got the cord plugged into the outlet and the end of the light you know i don't have to take the lid off that's good all right and i inspected this cord when i put this in so Gonna plug this in here. And I'm holding you guys and trying to do this. Horrible filming skills. Horrible. Get up there. Get jammed over. Alright, so I'm just gonna plug this one in here. Okay, that should be plugged in now. I think I don't want to take this off because it's windy today. I can lift up a corner and we can see. I'm gonna hit the on. There it goes. You see the light come on? Off. On. Off. All right. While we got this corner raised, I'm gonna go ahead and shove that inside. All right. That's all taken care of. And yeah, I do need to build a new well house. This one's crude. All right now, I got other things going. All right. I know this ain't what you guys are waiting to see. That's coming up here in a minute. Yeah, let's see, let's get in and we'll get on with the video. Oh, I gotta shut my tailgate. All right, guys, as you know, the whole month of October, we did Dogtober. And I told the rescue that for every dime I made on my YouTube revenue, I would donate 50% to them. And I ended up making, for the month of October, $1,499.24, of which they should get $750. But I can't do that. Things have come up. Uh, it's been a difficult few weeks. I am not one to go back on my word. So uh, let me show you what I made. This is the AdSense. That's what I got paid today for doing a video every single day. And, and then some extra ones on two channels for the month of Dogtober. But I'm not going to give them. Uh, I can't give them 750 guys. I'm giving them 1500 Giving it all to them. And I've got it pulled up here in PayPal. And we're going to click next. Try not to show any information here. Let me get to the next one. Okay. We're going to send it. Because i got to be careful. Last time I did this, <laughs> I had a mess on my hands. Okay, we're going to send it with checking okay oh, i don't want to show any there's no account numbers you guys can see that all right fifteen hundred dollars and i'm doing it this way because i want the tax uh right off because paypal watches this you know the, the government's watching i don't want them to see that i made that and i didn't donate now Thanks for donating fifteen hundred U.S. dollars to support Furry Tales Rescue. Done. All right. I knew I was going to do that the whole time, but I didn't tell you guys that was the whole idea. And if you want to donate as well, they they go through so I mean, their expenses are astronomical. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, they are school teachers. They work full-time jobs 
yet they have time they they spend their weekends their evenings doing the dog rescue coordinating with the um with the fosters and they have 25 fosters uh they're doing all the logistics it's not easy and i'm gonna go see them on sunday we'll make a video but i wanted to get them this money is it's gonna take about two days maybe uh to go through to their account the way that i donated it and that way by the time sunday rolls around uh they'll have it i'm also bringing them a dog kennel the one that that uh we used for the puppies here uh, I'm going to be giving that to them. Uh, there's, I have no use for it. Yes, I could keep it and do some stuff with it, I know, but they could use it more. So, if I can do it, you guys can do it. And I, and I could have used some of that money this month, trust me. Uh, it's not putting a big old hurt on me, but, you know, I, I could have easily, there's things I could have bought, but that meant more to me to do. You know, because it, it was not easy for the month of October <laughs> trying to do a video every day on two channels. But we got through it, and I actually made a little more than I thought. And it did come back to me because this month, I'm right along with that, you know. I'm just doing, and I haven't put many videos out. But my channel grew over that course of that month, and so it worked out. And so, as I've always said, it, you know, if you give, it comes back to you. If you give from the heart, it comes back to you, and it did, and it, and it's going to continue. So, but I'm going to go out there. We're going to uh, have a video with them Sunday, probably not a long one, but I'm going to take the kennel. Uh, I should be able to get that in the truck by then. The, the panels aren't don't weigh that much. My truck's plenty big to handle that, and uh, I like I said, I'll put the link in the description if y'all want to donate. You know, that's up to you but it helps if you don't donate to them hey try to donate or or volunteer at your local rescue because it's not just an arkansas problem it's a nationwide problem so thank you guys for watching and all the new subscribers i got if you want to go back i have a playlist of the dogtober uh it was charity 100 percent charity for the rescue and i may do that every year We'll see. I'm not next year I may not be in as good a shape or I may be in better shape, but we'll see. Thanks for watching guys. Happy trails.